Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect up an Xbox controller to your Linux machine so you can use it on the PCSX2 emulator, which is a PlayStation 2 emulator. So, let me show you my controller right now. You should be seeing the controller. I've got an Xbox One controller, and it is the Project Scorpio edition, which was released with the Xbox One X. And yeah, okay, so there's a couple of things to note. I'm going to be using the wireless, you know, way of connecting it. So you can either do wireless or wired. For wired, all the Xbox One controllers work, and you can just plug in a micro USB cable, you know, the one that comes with it. It's actually connected to my keyboard currently. So it's a great cable. One, you know, quality is pretty decent, and two, exactly a really long cable. That's what I liked about the Xbox One cable. It was like, really nice cable look nice but it also was very long you know very practical so you can even just plug it in here plug into your computer plug and play you're all good to go or if you just have a wired controller where you can't actually detach the wire just plug that in you're all good to go and you can skip to the pcsx2 configuration side and yeah you can do that but i'm also going to show you how to connect it via bluetooth so that's one thing to note the original xbox one controllers that came out with the xbox one in 2013 didn't have bluetooth yes they had wireless but it was some sort of proprietary microsoft technology that was like bluetooth but wasn't bluetooth and what you needed i've got it right here you needed one of these adapters and i've got this for an old controller that i used to use and you needed one of these adapters you plug it in and you sync it up this doesn't work on the next we've seen us some attempts of trying to get it to work so the older controllers can be used it's very hit and miss so you either want to do it wired or have its 2016 onwards controller that has the you know regular bluetooth so they all have regular bluetooth now so if you bought it recently you're all good to go if not either do it wired or get a new controller so, so that's just something i wanted to mention but if you're unsure what controller you got feel free to pop me a message and we'll figure that out so now let's just you know sync it up Go to your Bluetooth settings, you know, navigate to the Bluetooth settings at however you would on your Linux version or distro. And what you want to do now is put this into pairing mode. To do that, you turn it on by pressing this button for a couple of seconds. Then as soon as that, you know, happens, press this button till it starts flashing even faster. So if I press that, it's flashing, but that's just it looking for as you can see it's actually picked it up as xbox wireless controller and it's it's it, you know it's connected it it's, it's going to connect in a second now so yeah it's connected it but let me just show you what it would be like if you had never synced because i'd already synced that's the reason it was like this for me so you want to let me just turn this off I find this easy that will actually properly remove the battery so what you want to do is turn it on keep this sync button pressed as you can see it's flashing faster now click on xbox wireless controller and again because i've already synced it before that's the reason this is happening but you you would just click it it would connect up within a few seconds Yeah, it's connected it, but it's in sync mode, so it's just slightly messing up. Let's remove the device. So there it is. Click on it. So you should say connected. There we go. And it vibrate once it's connected. So it should be all straightforward, you know, the first time you're doing this, just because I'd already connected, he already saved it, and he was just like, why are you trying to reconnect it when I've already got it connected? Okay, so that's it now. So you can just go to PCSX2, launch that up. I've got a video that covered actually how to set it up. The you know links in the description, feel free to check that out. And now you want to go to config, controllers, plugin settings, and go to pad one or pad two and configure it for even one. And make sure you've got this one selected that has the xbox wireless controller as well if that doesn't appear make sure pcsx2 is turned off when you sync it up once you've connected it then relaunch pcsx2 i've had that issue before so let me clear this so this has automatically i think no, i'm pretty sure i had it mapped before but if it's empty this is what you want to do to map everything also 
all these buttons won't look like this for you you'll probably be able to see them the only reason mine looks a bit messed up because i've zoomed in and zoom in the application hasn't properly been coded for a zooming factor it's just so you can easily see it kind of ironic by zooming in to make it easier to read it's kind of made it worse to read but it's bigger at the very least and okay so you click r2 press that and you literally go through these now and you could you know feel free to swap controls around if for some reason you wanted these as the arrow and these are the face buttons you can that's the whole beauty of using something like an emulator not only does it allow you to play you know old games it also lets you so let's do the left side now it also lets you you know, configure stuff, make the graphics look better with extra anti-aliasing, extra filtering, and all of that stuff. Nope, did it wrong. So these were meant to be this. Now the triggers. L1 or LB as it's called on Xbox and we'll do this one as the select which is the share button and the option button is start so you can reverse the you know the analog sticks you can also enable force feedback so you know there's a lot of stuff that you can do to it if you want it so like that's the enabled vibration you know there's a lot of configuration I've already got a game selected and let me show you that so Tekken 4 I've just gone on to fast boot because why because I want to go through the PlayStation logo just to save some time I'm going to turn the volume off and let me get into arcade and show you this working the volume technically still on it's very quiet let me choose Horang okay So if you see any drops in the frame rate and one obviously it's depending on your you know your computer two i'm recording so it does get a little it can get a little slow when i'm recording as well Horang's kicks are really deadly though to be fair I think I can get a perfect. I uh, move out the way. Ooh, prevented me from being a perfect then. Ooh, yes. So yeah, as you can see, it is working. There's how you connect up a 360 or a Xbox One controller. One other thing I forgot to mention is 360. If you were connecting it to like your your Windows machine, you could connect a 360. Let me just turn this off now. A 360 controller wirelessly if you had you know a similar style of down, dongle, but for 360. Again, those dongles do not work very well on Linux. It's hit and miss. So you either want a wired controller of 360 or one, Xbox One. You either want a Xbox One controller and you plug in a wire. You can't do that with 360. So it has to be a wired controller to make it wired. You can't just get a wireless controller and plug a regular cable in only with Xbox, any of them. Or have a Xbox One controller that is 2016 or newer. But again, if you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.